Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo is a dynamic preacher having preached for over 30 years. He is also a motivational speaker, a successful businessman, a leader and a prolific author having written over 60 books. He has received numerous awards for his outstanding books and selfless service. He is the founder and CEO of about 10 profitable companies which include a global TV station, KICC TV. He is also the founder of Kingsway International Christian Center, a Christian charity with a global footprint in 214 nations via television. With a volunteer base of over 1,000 staff, his weekly telecast Winning Ways is a source of inspiration and motivation to many. He is a strong advocate and a voice in the Pentecostal Christian community in the United Kingdom. He is a constant feature on God Channel TV, CBN, Daystar, and various TV networks. Pastor Matthew serves on the board of Premier Radio Station, which is the UK's Premier Christian Radio Station. As an author, he has received accolades for his astounding books. He is the winner of the Nigerian Booksellers Award for Tongues of Fire and many more. He currently hosts Winning Ways, which is shown on TBN Daystar, God Channel and aired on Premier Christian Radio. Known for his zeal for wealth creation, Pastor Matthew holds a wealth masterclass on how to develop a millionaire mindset, a seminar on broke to billionaire and many more wealth creation lectures. As a first timer speaker at the Wealth Summit, we are excited to have the man of the hour here. Please make welcome Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo to the Wealth Summit 20. Please keep clapping. You're celebrating a timeless icon with vintage wisdom. If you love Pastor Matthew Ashimolo, make some noise. Come on now. You may be seated, may be seated. What a great privilege to be here this morning. And I sincerely hope and uh, pray that. Uh, Everything being done here will be impactful and your life will never be the same. First of all, I want to celebrate the organizers of this auspicious conference, the Pertinence Group. Please put your hands together for them. Put your hands together and celebrate them. Come on, appreciate them. Appreciate them. I also want to specifically appreciate one of the speakers who has a great passion to see people create wealth, walk in wealth, experience wealth. Dr. Lumide Emanuel, put your hands together and celebrate him. And you also for taking the time to be here, not minding the, the rain, not minding the time and you are here. May I ask you to please celebrate yourself. I have been asked to speak uh, on the subject of wealth and I'm trying to, I don't know if, the, if they are able to run the PowerPoints now. If they are not, I'll just flow. Are they able? Okay, we'll just see how it goes. First of all, let me just, uh, by way of a preamble, prepare your mind. Sometimes you find that uh, people go through a mindset of should we create wealth? Should we not create wealth? Particularly if you are of, uh, of the faith like I am, and you are a pastor like I am, or you are a Christian like I am, sometimes people mix scriptures. And I'm very glad that this is a mixed crowd. This is not about Christianity or Islam or Hinduism or whatever. It's about wealth creation. So you are in the right spot. However, for the sake of those people who sometimes have a problem in their mind creating that shift to come to an understanding that God wants you to be wealthy. God wants you to create wealth. God wants you to handle wealth for several reasons. The only person who benefits from your lack, thank you very much sir, the only person who benefits from your lack is the devil. That's the only person. 
Your next door neighbor needs you to be wealthy so you can help him. <laughs> um, today is uh, Saturday. On Tuesday, we were interviewing the people who we were interviewing a COO. We needed a COO for a new initiative I'm starting. It's, 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 a, it's a crusade that will be distributing food to about 50,000 people during daytime and preaching in the evening. And as we got into the room we wanted to use in Adebola house, some young man brings water for me and the other interviewer. And as I looked at his face, he was smiling. And I'm thinking, do I know you? He said, you know me, sir. I used to be a caddy at Ikeja Golf Course. And one of those who used to pull your bag when you want to play golf, you sent me to Polytechnic and paid my school fee. I said, really? I didn't know. <laughs> Because I had sent so many to my office, I just say, go and register, and then we'll pay your school fee. I paid for his OND, I paid for his HND, and still I do not even know him. That is why you should create wealth. So that this guy, I gave him wings to fly. He flew out of the golf course where he was a caddy, where they are putting penny pennies into his hand. Now he's an accountant in an office in Adebola House. That is wealth creation. Matter of fact, I think I sent so many. In fact, I took two of them out of the place and sent to Ghana to go to university. One of my sons in ministry owns a university, Marshall's University. A young girl was pulling the bag for us one day. When she spoke, her English was pristine. Your English is so pristine. What are you doing here as a caddy? She said, I've taken jam five times. And there's always one story or the other. Before we finished the game that day, I got an admission in Ghana and paid $5,000 $5, every year for four years. That's the reason you should create wealth. I don't even, I can, I can only remember her first name. And I know she's from Ubiaja in, uh, in uh, Edo State. That's all I remember. Second one, I think her name is Agnes Clement. Her mom is the one selling small, small rice at the place. Agnes walks up to me and said, my mother had five of us. Her father is dead. All she has is the money from cooking rice for these caddies. I want to go to school. I sent her to uh, Moshuda Biola Polytechnic where she had an OND. She came back and said, I want to go back for HND. I said, why go for HND? Why not do a degree? I sent her to Ghana. So right now she's doing her youth service. This is why you should create wealth. Why do I do that? Because when I was ready to go to school, there was nobody to pay. Some of us were so brilliant, but no one. In fact, I remember even in primary school, I couldn't cope with the class because I was ahead of the class. My teacher had to tell me, look, the books in this school is not your level anymore. She had to give me the address of the then Western State Library by Obisheson Hall in Ibadan. But then despite brilliance, there was no one to sponsor. So today, when we talk of wealth creation, you need to know that God wants you to create wealth. For those of you who still say, hey, show me in the Bible. There are 375 scriptures, direct and indirect, on prayer. 375, direct and indirect, on prayer. And actually, I'm the only one on earth who has produced a prayer Bible. So I know a little bit about prayer. However, I want you to know, while there are 375 scriptures on prayer, there are 2,000 on finance, on biblical economics and finance. Every parable you know in the Bible, out of the 37 parables of Jesus, 23 have to do with finance. I'd like you to mention some parables to me. Huh? The parable of the sower, that's economics. The man had capital. He sold some by the roadside. That's not where to plant your business. Street 
straight away. The thing was destroyed by wrong stuff, birds that ate it up. The second seed he had again, he planted it amongst, he went and, and threw it and threw the, the seed on the rocks where the thing will not gain ground. You don't invest in businesses that have no future. The third set of seed he threw among the thorns that choked the possibilities. Only one that he sowed in good ground provided anything. Give me one more parable. Huh? Talent. The parable of the talent. One man was given five. One man was given two. One man was given one. Talent in the days of Jesus in today's money is half a million dollars. So the man who was given one talent was given half a million dollars. The exact amount that was given to Ali Kotangote when he was 17 years old. He was given half a million dollars by his uncle. Then Tata. And he turned it to what it is today. One man was given five talents, he multiplied it. The other one was given two, he multiplied it. The one who was given one talent, he did not multiply it, not because it was small, but because his mind was small. His mind was small. This afternoon, as I teach, I like to challenge you. I hope they will be able to do all right. I like to teach you on the nine hours of revolutionary wealth. After the nine hours of revolutionary wealth, I would now like to quickly teach you on the power of land ownership. The power of land ownership. Number f the first one is revolutionary wealth. And the second one is the power of land ownership. Creating wealth without effort is necessary. Many think it is tough. Many think it's not possible. Many say, it does, oh, money does not grow on trees. I don't know which tree you are talking about. Money grows on trees. It depends on the tree you are talking about. Money gr grows on cocoa tree. Money grows on orange trees. Money grows in several places. However, the answer lies on you moving from a tedious process and creating a pipeline that will take your water to the tank. If they can move in the, in the, in the slide quickly. Listen, many of us do not realize there is a difference between a person who has a bucket of water and a pipeline. A bucket of water and a pipeline. The bucket of water has limited size. Even though it looks big, maximum it holds 1,000 uh, millimeters or whatever of water. But this pipe, though it is narrow... But water continues to flow it. The reason many do not create wealth is that they are just looking for a bucket to carry. Your life should not be that of a bucket carrier. The pipeline will bring the water whether you are sleeping or whether you are walking. But the bucket, you have to be available. 95% of people on earth are bucket carriers. They invited me to come and teach. When I start the nine hours, some of you are going to say, ouch. But today your life will be transformed. Something will change. There's going to be a, a shift in your mind. Are you ready? So you see, you've got to understand that this man cannot make money because unless he's around to carry the bucket, there will be no money. But this one is passive. It's just there. The, money, the water just keeps flowing. The water keeps flowing. Passive money making is the fastest and the best way because it is beyond being active. It is you learning to create a system that flows. It is better to be a conduit than a container. Whereas from your nursery to university, you've been taught to be a container and not a conduit. And if you're going to create wealth, you've got to change the narrative. Tell your neighbor to change the narrative. <laughs> Let me show you some of the narratives that have held you down. Nine hours. The first three are going to mess you up. The first hour is the hour of rates. Many of us live on rates. Living on rates is tough. Living on rates is difficult. It is difficult to plan and save effectively based on rates. Living on rates is difficult. 
it's difficult to plan and save effectively based on rates. What is rate? Rate is salary. Look at me. You can never create wealth on salary. There is no Nigerian in this nation on salary, on the salary of a million dollars. There is none. Not even the bank CEOs. And by the way, the salary of your president, official, official, is 1 million and 26,000 naira a month. We know there are other emoluments. But you see, you've been trained. In fact, your parents told you, Bobaka, we're Batararo, Ko, Ko, Ka. So you were told to get ready for rates. Rates makes you sell your hours. It affects a work-life balance. But today I want you to know you've got to be familiar. If that's where you are at the moment, if you are a salary earner at the moment, be familiar with your salary. Be familiar with your industry. Pursue something better than you are getting. Build your case. Build your case. Tell yourself the truth, act, and then factor in all the perks and benefits if all you have is rates, salary. Look at this one, say salary. Say it one more time, salary. Uh, if, if I can have a, a flip chart, I don't know if they, they have a flip chart, but if there's not, no worries. You see, you can never create wealth on salary. The reason is, the day I hire you and I said pay you half a million naira a month, I have already determined your rate. You cannot rise above that. So in order for you to create wealth, you need to live above rates. You need to live above rates. Let me go to the second R. The second R is remuneration. I like you to say remuneration. Please say it louder, remuneration. Remuneration is what people earn as total package. So the first R, they are just a salary earner. And with salary earning, life is so monotonous, so mundane, so predictable, so, so not going anywhere. You wake up in the morning, you rush to work, you come back home, you have some food. You watch television, you go to bed. You wake up in the morning, you rush to work, you come back home and have some food. You watch television, you go to bed. You wake up in the morning, you rush to work, you come back home and have some food. You watch television, go to bed. You wake up in the morning and rush to work, you come back home and have some food. You watch television. Then one day you wake up, your, your hair has changed color. That's if you still have hair. Because some people have pattern, some people have departing. You didn't realize it. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to do all I can in this one hour to pour all I can into you. I teach this two times a month. People pay 200 pounds every month. So you are getting it free. People just do not realize how you know, we talk, we, we think we are independent, man. We don't realize. Today is Saturday. Wait until, until Monday morning. 5 a.m. Third Mainland Bridge is stand still. Because we all go one way. Wake up in the morning, rush to work, come back home, have some food, watch television. All the cars from all the places that comedian was mentioning, they focus on the island in the morning. The cars coming out of the island are few. Listen, and what I'm teaching you is not a Lagos problem. It's a London problem. It's a Washington problem. It's a New York problem. I was going to leave Washington to go to Toronto. And I was told, ah, you have to leave your hotel by 4.30 in the morning. My flight is 9 a.m. And you said I should leave my hotel at 4.30. And the airport is only 40 minutes. Because it's the same. Everybody has been trained to just work for rates. But now the second level is remuneration. Somebody say remuneration. Please say loud remuneration. 
So remuneration means that you now get total package. Total package means you get things, you get salary, you get emoluments based on your experience, your location, your education, the industry in which you are. Uh, you make employers know why you need to get more in your remuneration. You let them know, I, I need to have more than a salary. I deserve this. I need, f I need money for, for the fuel. <laughs> right now, you need fuel money, man. <laughs> Nowadays, not everybody gets to the petrol station and say, fill up. <laughs> in fact, if the attendant say, fill up, you say, fill up, well, fill your head. Put 2,000 naira and get out of here. Fill up, call. Fill up, me. <laughs> Some is say remuneration. But let me take you to the, th to the third R because I want to see how much I can cover. The third R is replication. I'd like you to scream this one. Replication. replication. Please say it one more time. Replication. replication. Everybody, wherever you are, look at me. If you want to create wealth, you must look for something you can replicate. A barber will never be a millionaire until he opens many shops. A hairdresser will never be a millionaire until she has many shops. I was teaching this in Winnipeg, in Canada. And when I was talking about replication, we call it replication or scaling. Imagine you had a hairdressing shop. Let's look for a name for your hairdressing shop. What name shall we call it? Flowers. Flowers, hairdressers. For you to become a millionaire, you need to have flowers, Ikeja. Flowers, Lucky Face One. Flowers, Suruleri. You have flowers, GRE. You need to have flowers in Festac. You need to have flowers in Ikorodu. By this time, you have 10. You told the manager of flowers, Ikorodu, Ikeja. All those places that look, I, you must deliver 10,000 naira every day. No story. Times 10 shops, how much is that? 100,000. In five days, how much is that? Half a million naira. So if somebody tells you there is no money in hairdressing, there is money. It's just that you have not learned the power of. Too many, you, you see a lot of people, they say, I'm going to start my own business. And all they are doing is they are self-employed. That's why I need a flip chart. Because you see, E-S-B-I. Just have it in your mind. E-S-B-I. E is employment. S is self-employment. So if you carry your briefcase, you say, I'm in business. And you are the only staff. You are still an employee. It's not that you are self-employed e s b i b is for business when you begin to replicate let me show you replication i live in a small house in lekki my house is by the waters it's a very tiny house pastor olumide manu has been to my house and this Pertinence gentlemen, I had to drive them out of my house. They didn't want to leave. Just joking. I noticed one guy who comes to the estate in which I live. The guy did not go to school. Not much. His name is Taju. Taju has a broken vehicle. But Taju does scaffolding. Sometimes Taju has... Ten houses a week to put scaffolding around. And he charges 750,000 naira for full scaffolding of a big house. If he does it for ten houses, how much is that? Taju did not go to school. Taju cannot speak good English. And his car is not a good one. But he knows the power of. Because many of the guys you see in big SUVs, they are three months away from poverty. Yeah. 
because they are salary earners. They are rich people. And if they are not rich people, they are remuneration people. For you to create wealth, you've got to move to what? Give me some big name eateries you've heard of in the world. KFC. McDonald's. Let me take McDonald's. I was driving through a part of Maryland, USA, three years ago or four. And they were celebrating that they have just made 99 billion burgers. You can't do 99 billion burgers in one place. You want to know the secret of, of McDonald's? They have 25,000 outlets. 25,000 outlets. Have you ever seen the founder? Have you ever seen, in fact, have you ever seen the owner? No. In fact, the guys must have gone by now. Ray Kroc and his partner must have gone by now. But what they did was to replicate. The, this, and, and when you leave Lagos, well, there's no McDonald's in Lagos. They refuse to come here. I don't know why. Everyone who has gone to them for franchise with millions of dollars, they refuse Nigeria. Don't mind them. We will show them. But anywhere they are, the McDonald's in London does not taste different from the one in New York. It's the same thing. But it's the power of what? Replication. So today, if you didn't get anything from me, if I stop on that hour of replication, just take any concept. In fact, I remember a young man who started something of replication. I felt very sad when I read his story. He had an MBA here in Nigeria, worked for some people, then he went and started his own E3 based on, you know, the kind of concussion food we all prepare in the university. And he was doing well. But then he began to sell his franchise too early. He should have delayed a little bit. So replication. Somebody say replication. Replication allows you to, to create an industrial revolution. Replication makes your business to be everywhere. Replication means that you are capturing. I mean, <laughs> if you look at, there's a major uh, dry cleaning company in GRA, Kedja. I used to live in, in, in Okpebi. Then I sold the house and moved my home to Lekki whenever I'm in Nigeria. The same company have two in Lekki, so I don't have to come back to Ikeja. Replication. I like their service, so their service is available again. Same thing, same banner, same logo, same style. Replication. If you can get a vision and replicate it, you're on your way. And you replicate through constraining, you replicate through concentration, if they can find that page in slide number 34. You replicate through supply. You replicate through demand. You replicate through thinking big. Somebody say think big. Oh, please, you need to speak like future billionaires. Say it louder, think big. You know, when billionaires show up in a place, they speak like they are in charge. So somebody say think big. That's You've got to understand that you, you've got to replicate based on demand. And there's a demand. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Another thing I want to leave you with in case I don't have enough time. Don't forget this. Do not forget this. Whoever told you to follow your passion led you wrong. Stop following your passion. Start solving problems. Start solving problems. Start what? Solving problems. Start solving problems. The day you start solving problems, people will be throwing money at you because you solve a problem. Never forget that truth. R number four. Oh no, there's more. There's more under replication. Replicate with time. Replicate with good partnership. Replicate with vendors, replicate with opportunities, replicate with mentors. By vendors, we mean if <laughs> you know, when I was coming here, I don't know what happened, and something struck my mind. I remember a proverb from Abekuta called Shebo Timon, I just imagined that mama 
having a replication. Elewa shakon itori. Elewa shakon ibei. Elewa shakon Lagos Road. Then she comes to Lagos. All the guys who have heard of her, Elewa shakon ikeja. Even if it is just to go and taste it, you will go. But no, our mothers will sit by the same pot and they'll be saying it is the devil that is fighting them. Many people who blame the devil, Satan does not even know they exist. <laughs> yes, sir, I'm a theologian and I can prove to you that Satan has never appeared to more than five people. I leave you hanging. Only five people, because they are the only one that are his level. Is a bad spirit. Satan only appeared to Adam. He only appeared to Jesus. He only appeared to Job. He only appeared. Who else? Self. Adam, Job, Jesus. No, Adam and Eve together. Job, Jesus, where else did you see him? Huh? Huh? Nowhere. Can you see now? I've just proven it to you. So number four R, I'm not doing too well with time. Number four R is rent. Somebody say rent. rent. Say it louder, rent. rent. So the fourth R to move you into wealth is for you to now begin to find something to rent out. Something to rent out. Something to rent out. Something to rent out. Next one, rent apartment, rent offices, rent event venues, rent campsites, rent land. The pastor of this church came to me and said, sir, we want to be renting out the building. I said, do it. But don't put prayer down when you are renting out. Use an event name because of, of what we call, uh, uh, I'll remember. Because that's why you should be very careful. Never call any business in a religious name. Don't start hallelujah bread. Don't start anointed rice. Because once you do that, <laughs> I've remembered the word. Once you do that, you have segmented the Muslim person away. You've segmented the whole market away when you use religious words. Never use religious words for your business. Use words that are rather mystical. That makes people say, what does this mean? I have an estate. The name of my estate is Macarius. I like that. Which one is this? What does this mean? Rent will change your life. Look at me. And when you rent out, it doesn't mean you own everything. But if you can make enough money to have apartments, to rent out, office renter, event renter, it means that while you are not there, somebody is paying. The building is making money. On the Pebby Road, I have a building that is seven floor and has 29 suites. I kept three to myself. We, rent. we gave an agent to rent out. He's rented 26 suites. So, I don't even know when the rents are due. The agent just sends the money. That's what money should be. It should be a stream that flows to you. And for those of you who love the Bible, you need to know, from day one, God was preaching to man to prosper, but they didn't get it. He created only two people. First, he created the river, then made the river to break into how many? Four rivers, one, one and one man, one woman. How, many water, how much water they won't drink? Why give them four rivers? Because he's preaching to them that you should have multiple streams. And even each of the rivers means something. The first one means free flow, Gaihon. The second one means sweet river, Paison. The third one means fast like an arrow, 
And the fourth one means breakthrough. Inside the garden for only two people. A message was already being preached to them. So let's go to number five R because of time. The fifth R. Moving away from so many things. Don't ever do uh, slide 44. Slide 44. Rent out wedding equipment. There are people who want to show. Nigeria will I show. There are people who want to show that they wore the best wedding dress, but they can't afford it. Go and set up the place. Set up nice tuxedos for the men. Beautiful wedding dress for the ladies. Then make some noise about it. You'll be amazed. Party supplies. Furniture. Slide 44, please. Vehicle rental services. Uber is now worth 18 billion dollars with 11 million drivers. Uber does not own one car. Did you hear me? The company called Uber does not own one car. They use your car. You make money on their behalf and send to them because they solved a problem. You are feeling good. I'm working. I drive Uber. They make money. I make money. But whose car? Your car. Whose money did you send to them? Your money. Why? Their idea. They solve a problem. When you solve a problem, look at me, look at me. When you solve a problem, money gets angry if you don't let it come in. Money will knock down your, house, your door. Money will come in through any corner because you solve the problem. All right, let's go to the fifth R. The fifth R is the R of what? I can't see it. Oh, they're still sat on the corner there. Royalty. Royalty. The R of royalty. What is royalty? Your royalties payment made for the right to use your material. Royalty is the right paid to you. And Nigerians are gifted. Somebody scream, I'm gifted. Royalty is payment made to you for, to use your material. If you write a song before you give them on Sunday to sing in your church, copyright it because it's your gifting during the COVID-19 America survived on the song of one girl from Nigeria so there was 114 million views and every time they view money came to her Waymaker Miracle Walker Promise Keeper Light in the Darkness that is who you are. America survived on that song. They held on to it. We couldn't see their faith preachers, all the noisemakers. They went quiet. It was that girl's song they held on to. The royalty brought to her changed her story. So that's royalty. Books give you royalty. Songs give you royalty. That's why when any of these artists, Davido, uh, uh, whiskey when they upload a song in in one hour there are and, and today's platforms have changed everything today's platforms have changed everything it, <laughs> the kind of money have been is made in a lifetime the boys are doing it in one day because of the platforms this is your season this is your time the opportunities in our world today Exceed the days of your fathers. And don't let anybody tell you there's no money in the world. Ah, money day. It's not money, it's money. <laughs> Serious one. I was born in this Nigeria in the days when Nigeria's total income was five million. Five. Today, Nigeria talks in, not me, not B. 
Bhakti. Trillion. So you got to understand royalties. Selling your vinyl cassette, digital download, streaming music, royalty. Play live shows. The only place where they don't respect the artist is Nigeria. Where the radio station will play and not pay you. And if you challenge them, they say, we're helping you. <laughs> we're helping you to play your music. We have a policy in KICC, this church we're looking at, particularly the United Kingdom version. We don't play any music in our Sunday worship without permission. We won't sing your song. We have to go register with an association that automatically charges churches for using the song to worship. So we pay, I think maybe two or three thousand pounds every year. We just pay. Let them just distribute to the guys whose songs we are using. So because the, a man is worth of his due. May your royalty begin to flow in. I know this is not an amen's place, but. Uh, and if you don't feel like saying amen, you say, oh me. <laughs> Sell merchandise. Offer fan subscription. Oh, you don't know the power of subscription. It basically straight away means that somebody has given you their details. And one day they will need your service. Many of us think that creation of wealth is wake up in the morning, rush to work, come back home, have some food, watch television. Collect public performance royalty. Did you know that? <laughs> Look at this lady. Right now she's not singing. She said she's suffering from a sickness that cannot be cured. You are my lady. Selling Dion. As, as she's not singing, so $80 million will come this year. She's not singing, though. What's the name of the one that just canceled her world tour right now? Huh? Huh? Madonna, yeah, Madonna. I know somebody will know. In Nigeria, I don't know. LA. <laughs> Madonna have just canceled her world tour. She said, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling well. Ah, if not you, feeling well again. You this sickness, you won't deny me of money. Ah, the Lord rebuke you. You go out. Madonna knows that just from royalties this year. She's likely to make 40 million dollars. What's the name of this girl whose father is Latino and her dad is black? I can see her face. I can't remember her name. She sang one Christian Christmas song. Christmas. Every, huh? Mariah Carey. Every Christmas, $8 million must come. Yes, thank you. Every Christmas, she doesn't do anything. Every, any station that plays it, any, play where, any place where they use the music, $8 million come as royalty. Social video monetization. And please, for those of you who create videos and put online, put the truth. Don't destroy people. Because you know that if you put that Genevieve is, die, is dead, people will go and watch. Then you make money. You've cursed yourself. Please don't do that. Social video monetization, special music sponsorship. Make money from YouTube music. Teach music. Anything you know to do, create your own platform. How many of you are mathematical geniuses here? Let me see your hand. You're very good with maths. Oh, somebody's pointing at... Uh, Good. If he wasn't having something else to do, he could have just created a class, five, five minutes, catch the people to come close. After they come close, okay, so you love my teaching. I can make you pass your GCE easily, your WAEC easily. It will cost you 10,000 naira, 5,000 naira. I'll take you through. He, doesn't, he just needs 1,000 people to pay 5,000 naira. <laughs> every six months how much is that that's five million from that angle and another six months another five million and he's not stressing he's recorded it 30 30 minutes he did 10 he left it online you want it 
Something automatically sends you the, the code to enter to work. Royalty. Not wake up in the morning, rush to work, come back home, have some food, watch television. <laughs> so creation of intellectual property, creation of intelligence, YouTube skits, any creation at all, any creation at all, people must get your permission because I wrote a groundbreaking book. I've had major universities in the United States of America and England ask for permission to quote from my book, What's Wrong With Being Black? Because it, it took me five years to write and I put 7,000 references. They can't just quote it. They must, give, they must get permission and they must pay. Apple has income of more than the GDP of several nations. I love that. Please put that next slide. Please. Apple has income of more than the GDP of several nations. When this teaching is over, make sure you Google what is the GDP of the whole of Africa. The GDP of the whole of Africa is $2 trillion. And the income of Apple alone is close to $2 trillion. So all 56 African nations have an income, the level of just Apple. How did he start? One young man decided to start Apple, and that's all. You have that capacity. You have that ability. You will shine. So number six is rights. I'm not going to stay long on this because rights and royalties sound a little bit alike. Rights are brand recognition rights are uh, uh, increasing your power making sure that anybody wants anything you give them franchise what does franchise mean look at me look at me look at me my friend uh, Cosmas Maduka has the franchise to sell Range Rover Land Rover BMW and Rolls Royce. When your Rolls Royce goes bad in Nigeria, if you didn't bring it through him, you must go to him to repair it. I have a small Rolls Royce. I don't know if Rolls Royce is coming in small sizes. My own is a Phantom. Think about my Dokolo. J to Leng. So I have a Phantom. All the mechanics were doing all they can one time when the thing did not work. All the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty Dumpty together. <laughs> we had to carry to Koscharis in one hour, pa, 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 they finished. And that one hour, 1.5 million naira. I mean, if you don't know, if you know, if you, if you know how to do it, do it yourself. <laughs> franchise. They gave him the franchise. And by the way, Cosmas Maduka did not finish primary school. Did not. And he's one of the most brilliant men you ever met in business. In business. So if you're here today, never let all those constraints you put in your way be your reason for failure. You will not fail. Let me take you quickly. So you need to franchise. After you need to get some franchise. At some point also, you need to give franchise. Some of you need to get franchise. Get franchise. Get franchise. Get franchise. Get franchise. Tell them, I'll be your representative in the country of Nigeria. And please don't get franchised when other people have gotten the same thing. Be the only one in the nation. And make sure you tie them up in such a way that they will not give so many people. Franchise. Number seven of these R's is return. I like you to say returns. Please say it louder. Returns. Return means receiving dividend returns on your investment. The man who rented a house is getting returns. The one who rented an office is getting returns. The one who, 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 is, who is buying shares and stocks is getting returns. These are the ways you begin to create wealth. You, shares, interests, please put them, put them. Shares, interests, dividends. These are the ways returns come. Appreciation of the value of what you bought. You bought a land in Moe. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, the value is not the same today. 
when I bought land in Moe uh, 32 years ago. I bought 30 acres for less than a million. And then when it was time for me to sell, some of these men came and twisted my arm. <laughs> bought so much of my land cheaply. I shall not tell you how much they bought it. I know your ears were open. But I also, I did well. You see, when I was buying those lands, I live in England, but never owned a house in Nigeria. I would come and stay in the hotel while I was buying land. Because many Nigerians, all they want to do is show. I never owned a house while I was buying the lands. I would stay in the hotel. Then later we rented an apartment where my family also began to come, but never owned the house for a long time. Appreciation came in. So the R of returns. Then number eight is the eight of reach. I like you to say reach. What do we mean by reach? Reach is your gifts must be paid for. You can't have circle for free. He has to tell you how much you will pay. Because that is his gift. Express yourself for a fee. Broadcast for a fee. Appear in places for a fee. And it's a gift. Look at me. Look at me. I used to teach this when I teach, uh, when I teach, on, when I teach on capacity building. Look at me, look at me, look at me. In 17, <laughs> it's a long time. In 19, in 1969-70, we used to have a we used to have a comedian whose name was Baba Sala. When Baba Sala shows on WNTV, WNBS in Ibadan for 30 minutes, his payment was three pounds or five pounds. Some say five pounds. That was 1969-70. In 2014. For Akororo to come and show and be the MC for my son's wedding in 2014 for two hours was five thousand dollars appearances. This one, his level was five pounds, but this one has scaled it up. So he has changed the level for his reach. He has a name. We had to pay five thousand dollars. My two sons wedded. Within 10 weeks. The second son was Sheilo. Uh, he also charged, I think, $6,000. I'm moving. Is somebody ready for a reach beyond that? Are you ready? In 2000, 2012, I think, or 2010, I went to speak in Toronto, Canada, and, it, and uh, a, a TV station, God TV wants me to come to work and to do fundraising for them. I said, look, I can't be running, running all over the place. Hire a private jet. Yes, yeah, so... They agreed and hired a private jet because from Toronto to Washington is just about one and a half hours flight. And uh, my son was with me. I mean, we don't have a private jet. When the boy got inside the jet, he was really showing that we are from Odeo or Shoe State, Nigeria. <laughs> was taking photographs everywhere, you know. I said, look at this bush boy. <laughs> and anyway, what I'm trying to say, when we landed in Washington, because we came in a private jet, we are carrying British passports, we had to sit down, we didn't queue with the people who are immigration, who, who, are, immig who are migrating into America, who have visa. We had to sit separate. We flew in a private jet, feeling good. But why we are feeling good? A comedian like a Pororo, another comedian was walking to his private jet. His name is Steve Harvey. I know you know him. <laughs> Baba Salah was how much? A Pororo was how much? Steve Harvey is $150,000 per show. Anytime. He does a 30 minutes to one hour show, is $150,000. Yeah. 
He has a $35 million golf stream. Same comedy, different level. Some say rich. You want one more comedian? I said, you want one more comedian? The next comedian, I won't mention his name, but you will know him. He's always behaving funny. Huh? Mr. B. He's a graduate of electronic engineering from Cambridge University. But behaving stupid. He's worth $200 million. And he's on the board of Rolls Royce. Baba Sala. Akororo. Steve Harvey. Mr. B. You are gifted. Stop selling yourself. Remember where we started. Some of you think your rate is the amount they are paying you a month. Get away from rates and move to your reach. And number nine is revolution. Somebody say revolution. Oh, please say revolution. Say, oh, there are too many things on that reach I can't touch. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Revolution. What is revolution? Ladies and gentlemen, even Nigeria is experiencing a revolution. A revolution, put the next slide, is the forcible overthrow of a social order in favor of a new system. A forcible overthrow of a social order in favor of a new system. So in other words, revolution, and then go to the next one since you're late, is disruption by technology. Disruption by technology is that which can be used to create new markets, providing greater efficiency, quality, and benefits for the end user. Disruption, yeah, 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 yeah. Anywhere you are, don't queue behind the back anymore. How many of you want to sell property? Let me see your hand. Stop queuing. Don't, don't do all those things I hear on radio. Uh, we have come again, no? We are land sellers. We'll give you two goats and one chicken. That does not disrupt. It immediately attracts Mamalata. Baba Oni Shabshans. Those are the people it attracts. And in my experience in real estate, they are the most troublesome. They pay you five five thousand naira. They call you ten times. Two in the morning. Have you put it against my name? Because I will curse anybody who does not. Who, hey 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 hey! I don't want four one. How much did you pay? You need to disrupt. You need to disrupt the the any any place you are in. Um, my first calling in life is a, is a pastor. I went to college 49 years ago to train as a pastor. I'm 71. I was trained to just queue behind everybody and do what everyone's doing. But when I decided to step out and start the church called KRCC, I found that I needed to disrupt. I needed to disrupt. So the church became the largest church since Christianity began in the United Kingdom. Disrupt. So we own a church premises like this one that is the largest for a church in the whole of Europe. 24 acres. So some pastor from Ibadan just rented it for two days for 60,000 pounds. Two days. If that's even very cheap. But you see, you couldn't find anywhere. What you see replicated here 
It's close to KLCC in London because Pastor Femi likes to do anything we do in London. He tried, he tried, he tried, he tried. But I got to England when the typical Englishman is petty, little this, little that, 20p, 2p offering. Everything is small. I came to disrupt. Whenever we were to advertise our conference, Dr. Olumide will testify. I took 50 buses in the city of London and put the advert of our conference. I didn't see my color. I saw my destiny. So I'm saying disruption. Somebody said disrupt. Okay, let's see what we can do with this because I want to say a little bit about land. And I have another meeting. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Uh, when it comes to disruption, there are so many things that will disrupt in the coming days. And some of you have had ideas, you can't see anyone doing it. Don't throw it away! Write it down! One day you will make it happen. Look at me. Disruption is coming. Wearable technology is coming. Now they are making clothes which if a soldier is shot, his shirt will begin to heal him. That is wearable technology. They are now making shirts which when you wear it, it has signals. They are now making technology where you are yourself an embodiment of the message you carry. Disrupt through the internet of things. Internet of everything. Forgive my French, forgive my French, forgive my French. When I speak for some churches in Nigeria, I just hold my head. The church does not even have an, inter an email address. They are using Brother Joe's email address. In 2023, internet of all things, nothing you do that you didn't have on your social media platform. Let somebody say, are you always there? Yes, be there. They need to see you. Computers with sight are coming. Computers, they are even not coming. They are here. Anytime I preach around the world, I'm checking my house in Lekki from wherever I am. I'm checking my staff. I have a Filipino lady who works for us full time, lives in our house. I'm checking if she's working. From wherever I am, I'm checking the, all the cameras. If everything is okay. Disrupt! Disrupt. Interface, machine. Interface from machine to machine and machine to human. Disrupt. Improve mobile technology is coming. Disrupt. Cloud storage of data is already here. Disruption. Disruption. So anything I type does not just sit on my phone, it also go and sit in the cloud. Disruption. Somebody say disrupt. Better cyber security measures are coming. Disrupt. Immunotherapy is here. Disrupt. I was in the plane on my way back to London. I go almost every week to go preach and then run back. I'm going tonight. And then come back on Monday morning. I was in the plane. At this time I was Virgin Atlantic. And I saw a young man. He said he used to worship here in KRCC. He had had to run away. He created a disruption. And some people in the banking system want to kill him. It's a system where you don't need your card. You just need your bio. Wherever you show. Don't say it's a 666 or a Christian. I don't daily. We cover the bono by Antichrist. Why should the devil have all the good things? Program advertising disrupt. The young man created bio system of buying, selling, so nobody can steal your card. Not the kind with one four one nine or one. Forgive my French. If, if any SaaS man is here, let him see me after service, he will see. Not one SaaS man putting a gun to your head and taking you to, a, to an ATM to collect the money because you have your card. And you don't see any card. You didn't know that the thing is in your body. That is disruption. Now look at me. That young man was sitting in this church. Went to our typical universities, any of them. I think he said he went to Because I asked him questions. You are gifted where you are today. 
They haven't heard from you, but the world will hear from you. I said the world will hear from you. 3D printing is coming. China have just built 20,000 houses in East Africa and South Africa. How do they do 3D printing? They put cement and everything inside the machine. They put the program of how the house will look. And the machine will go and lay it. This one is not Baba Sikira doing the work. I'm using his at O-level, O-level. I have a cousin who is one of those kind of local contractors. They want to put put him and say, "Hey, bro, we level, we level." So they began to call him Oju Level Baba Claudius. Oju Level. Three <laughs> D printing is here. Oh, oh there's somebody in this meeting. I know you are feeling fire inside you. You are going to be the next testimony in this nation. We're going to see online our encyclopedia. It's already here. I'm not on, we're, not, we're going to see. I was doing an MBA one time. And all this, all this fight of our university lecturers, they are not paying us enough. Ah, when I was doing this MBA, just one four page document from one lecturer in, 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 in Harvard. And you have to pay $20. Four pages. I know they copied many. And it's not only me. 1,000 people will see it. He would pay twenty dollars, even if the university kept seventy percent and only gave him five, five times one thousand students every month. So somebody is still doing a fighting and doing handout. Thank you, handout. Disrupt. Hologram technology is here. MTN have brought it. No be juju is the real thing. So let me take you to land. Let me take you to land. Let's go, sir. Let me take you to land. Who am I? Just begin to follow what I read. Please, don't stop. You follow what I read. Who am I? I am the basis of all wealth, the heritage of the wise, the thrifty and the prudent. Who am I? I am the proud man's joy and comfort. Who am I? I am the rich man's prize, the right hand of capital. Who am I? I am the silent partner of many thousands of successful men and women. Who am I? I am the solace of the widow, the comfort of old age, the cornerstone of security against misfortune and want. Who am I? I am handed down to children through generations as a thing of great wealth. Who am I? I am the choicest fruit of toil. Credit respects me, yet I am humble. Who am I? I stand before every man, bidding him to know me for what I am and possess me. Who am I? I grow and increase in value through countless days. Who am I? Though I may not, I may seem dormant. My worth increases, never failing, never ceasing. Who am I? Time is my aid. When we bought this place where you are today, we sent the money from London for these four acres. It was 30 million naira. Today, you can't sell one plot inside this place for 30 million. It may be something like 60 or 80. Because time is my aid. Population heaps up my gain. I knew Lagos when there were only 5 million. Today there are 22 million. Who am I? Fire and the elements I defy. For they cannot destroy me. Who am I? My possessors learn to believe in me. Invariably they become envied. Who am I? While all things wither and decay, I survive. Who am I? 
the centuries will find me younger, increasing in my strength. Who am I? I'm the foundation of banks, a producer of food, the basis of all work throughout the world. Who am I? Yet I am so common that thousands, unthinking, unknowing, pass me by. Who am I? What do you think I am? Have you guessed yet? <laughs> Can't go on in much teaching. There are so many books written by me out there. Wow. This one says 12 major steps to perpetuating wealth. This one says 30 reasons for owning your own company. It can suck you anywhere. But they can't sack you from your company. This one says that creating edge. This one too will change your life. This man came all the way from Toronto, Canada, so I'm gonna bless you with the books. God bless you, Mr. Shuoku. How many of you want me to bless you like that? Yeah, the books are outside there, you just buy your copies. We're gonna close now. 13 questions on land. What is the land for? Why do you, what do you need this land for? Number two, how is the land zoned? Number three, are there easements? Number four, how is access to property achieved? Has it been professionally surveyed? Will all rights and interests be conveyed in the sale? I was teaching on wealth creation this morning. Somebody bought a house. They did not clarify who owns the garden. Is it the flat below or the flat above? Any water features. Let me just move away from this one and give you something else. Uh, a biblical and financial view of land. Slide 161. Land appreciates in value. Buildings don't appreciate in value. Lands appreciate in value. Buildings don't appreciate in value. Land was the possession God gave Adam at the beginning. Let me just tell you this and then I'll close. Anytime God signs covenant with anybody, the gift God gives them is land. He signed covenant with Adam. We call it Adamic covenant. He gave him land. He signed covenant with Noah. Noahic covenant. He gave him land. He signed covenant with Abraham. Abrahamic covenant. He gave him land. He signed covenant with the children of Israel as they left Egypt. We call it Palestinian covenant. He took the land of everybody and gave it to them. But some of them they did not take. Then, in the New Testament, he gave us New Jerusalem. God gave mankind land as a wealthy place to perpetuate wealth. Listen to me, everything I've said today. If you are really going to make it and break through, whatever you make, don't impress your friends with the, the, the latest car. Invest in land. Buy land. One day that land will increase in value. And you will be amazed. You will be surprised. A young man told me about land in Moway. So I bought 30 acres. Every time I went and bought more. Until I bought 900 acres. In Moway. And reached a point where I had more land than the king of Moway. And the king of Ofada. They got angry. What's my problem? You are the king and the landowner. So listen. That's where wealth resides. Land and houses. Land and houses. So when you heard me that you should not stay in rates, one of the things that changes everything for you is, the, is properties. Properties. Because they have a way of increasing your capacity. So you must reverse the curse on the land so you can take advantage of the benefits. Land is something you can leave as an inheritance for the coming generations. Land is the first thing God gave Adam and Eve as stewards. Land. The ownership of land is a sign of blessing from God. Land. Land is a blessing on the covenant rights of the believers. Land. Land gives you access to acquiring of wealth, equity, development, or prosperity for the future. I'd like them to put number nine, and then I'm just going to close. For those of you who go to London a lot, 
There's a part of the city of London, Oxford Street, Regent Street, Bond Street. All this area is the wealthiest, richest area, Piccadilly. It's the wealthiest, richest part of the heart of London. And yet only one family collects the dues. In fact, the boy who collects the dues is right now 32 years old and is worth $10 billion pounds. It is the land with which they married his great, 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 great grandmother as dowry. When we would they pay dowry? That was the land that they gave as dowry. Today, the Duke of Westminster, his father died three years ago, and so his father had to transfer to him. 32, and now what? 10 billion. Because somebody passed on land and is collecting the dues that every business in the area pay rates. And there is a written agreement that Westminster Council must always pass a percentage to his family. When you own land and houses, you break the cycle of poverty in your house. You break the limitation of your family. You start a new generation. You start a new level. I didn't come here today to just say nice things. Continue I came that. to let you know it is possible. It is possible. And if you came out of lack, if you came out of poverty, your whole poverty cannot be as high as mine. My father served in the Nigerian army and died in the Biafran war. He left nothing. In fact, my father used to behave funny. The family in the hometown gave him a piece of land to build. And instead of my father to start, the first thing he did was to go and buy the roofing sheet. Is that where they start? The man was a compulsive government gambler. After a while, he sent a message to them. We used to live in the north. I was raised as one in Zaria, I in Zaria, Kaduna, Kelo. Send message that they should sell the iron sheets, the roofing sheets, and send the money to him for more gambling. Died in the government war, leaving nothing. No land, nothing. We became the mockery of the family. We became the strand of my grandfather's children whom they mocked because we are the only ones who did not own anything. They were farmers. My father was a soldier. Of course, the people who thought they owned something, the land they were using was rented. <laughs> and when the last colony of Ife, before this one got there, chased them out of the land, they became owners of nothing. But today, where my father failed, I decided that I will not repeat my father's devil. I will not repeat my father's failure. I will not repeat my father's mistake. I will not kill. The man killed and was collecting salary. Wake up in the morning, rush to work, come back home, have some food, watch television. Every time he died, in 1967, he was on a salary of 22 pounds. Today, I have had to go back to the people who laughed at him to carry all their children and put in university, take care of them, the one who's sick, send them to hospital, build whole houses there for them to be able to stay. The only family house built by one of my grandfather's sons, his firstborn, was built with mud. By the time I came, the house was already Lean on me. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. I have to pull it down and I'll build houses. And then I bring them home every year. 400 of them. Feed them, take care of them for three days. Strengthen the family. Broke does not do that. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, if you're doing that, you can do better. A round of applause for Pastor Matthew Ashimolo. Please, a round of applause for him. A round of applause. I 
believe we've learned a lot, a lot has been given, a lot of value has been given. Ladies and gentlemen, please, can we celebrate him? Can we celebrate him? Wow. A speaker with so much value, with an amazing sense of humor. Please, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful round of applause for him once again. Amazing.